So, hello again folks. We've done a series of videos in Teddy Woods. It's getting dark. This is the ranger's office. Now it sits just above the stables that we had a look at. Now this, this building is used. This is where you come if you need to see the ranger. There's his office there. Look at that chimney, old, very old chimney with detailing. It's been pointed with cement, which is not what you should be doing. Owned by Cornwall Council. It's nice to see old buildings actually being used. Even if it is just an office, see the garden now not being kept up. A pond with a little ramp so the frogs can get in and out. Quite a nice little garden. So over there is the stables that we previously looked at. And there's another little building here. And what has this been used for? Does somebody live here? Have a look. I don't think it's been used for anything because it's overgrown. Proper woodland leaf feel. An old millstone by the door. The door looks nice and new. Might be a cheeky. Wow, look at that old kitchen. Can you see that? Looks like an old 50s or 60s kitchen. say that this is not being used, not being lived in. It's got the 60s uh, decor there. That mustard yellow was very much of the 60s. It all looks pretty good, Nick, really. There's no reason why somebody couldn't be living here. It looks in good order. Nice bit of detailing on the roof. extension. Garden. Look at that. That's mint. Massive great mint. So we obviously had a bit of a herb garden there. Original sash windows. Where are they? Plastic. It's actually a plastic. So it, can't be, it can't be a listed building. So 
You see the stairs there. So this is called the Kennels Cottage. Let's put that up so you can see it. Kennels Cottage. So boarded up. So I saw someone's obviously tried to pull one of the boards off. What is that? <clears throat> is that one of those radon pumps? Do you think? Now we have the stairs. Again, everything's got a very sort of 60s feel to it. But these windows are double glazed UPVC. So you'd think a building of this sort of type would be listed, wouldn't you? Where shall we go in? The camellia bush and a bit of uh, bamboo. It is a really nice looking house, but obviously it's smack bang in the middle of the woods. Completely impractical for an average family to live in. And they obviously made use of the other building, but I can't really justify the use of two buildings. Well, some lovely uh, wildflowers. Bit of a wildflower garden going on there. Are they Rebecca's perhaps? Some exotic looking plants still growing. I get the impression this has not actually been necessarily empty for a very long time or if it's been uninhabited for any length of time it's not been it's been looked after the roof all looks in good order it's getting a bit dark now for the camera to pick that up but again that looks remarkably like raspberry plants too late into the, in the season to uh, really tell. Say so that's raspberries. So there's a bit of a kitchen garden going on. Rosemary. Wow, that's really pungent. In fact, if you touch that, it actually feels sticky. There's so much resin on it, it's sticky. I wonder what variety that is. That is really, really pungent. Wow. garden seems to go on further but it's completely overgrown so we won't be going any further. Just saw a little bit of movement. What's that? Could have been a frog. I thought you were going to step in. So there's a garden building over here. Let's go and check that out. Water containers. There's a rear access there, which takes us up to the uh, Cornwall Council Tree Maintenance Depot. <coughs> Very old looking trees. No idea what they are. And 
And then I've got this little lean-to. And there's a lawnmower. I've very much dealt with that with work now. Left out in the elements. It's been a while since that's been used. Uh, so this little lean-to is a log store. Just at the end of the garden. So that Rayburn in the kitchen. Perhaps they powered it by wood. And then we have a a shed. Let's have a look, shall we? So. Roof looks fairly new. It's got a little light there as well. Lovely little workbench. Little heater. Door. And somewhere there's some storing their rubbish. Empty. Empty. An old fashioned jelly can. I can actually still buy those. Wow, look, a couple of old saws, a bit of wire. You can see this hasn't been used for a while, despite the fact it's got a new roof. It's uh, the ivy's getting in. There's a little light. Solar powered uh, light. Wonder if it works. Can't see a switch. Let's put that back. A bit of mould spray there. I think somewhere in the house they've had a little bit of a mould problem. It's a lid there for a uh, propagator. So somebody clearly liked doing uh, a bit of gardening some wood and that door look at that how many coats of paint has that had wow so let's seal that back up remember folks if you are going to go exploring places always try to leave stuff once you find it. Right, there we go, All sealed up. And then there's another little building. Oh, this is, okay, no. This is the ranger's office. And in fact, I can actually hear a fan on that one, so that is actually a radon pump. Sounds like there's a tractor, but it's not, it's the, it's the pump. It's a constant hum of a radon pump. So, there we are, folks. That is Bona Fide, abandoned house in the middle of the woods. Door is locked, so we won't be going in. Entire property is sealed. that note I will bid you all farewell so if you enjoyed looking around this abandoned house with me please do subscribe and follow the channel because well, there's a lot more of, like this in Cornwall there are literally dozens and dozens of abandoned properties which I'm going to try and go and explore 
some are in a finished state like this, some are in ruinous state. But if you enjoy that sort of thing, then you really must follow the channel. So, goodbye for now. I'm out of here.